The serpent on a pole, Christ lifted up prophecy and fulfillment. The Bible, a timeless and profound book, contains numerous prophecies that point to the coming of Jesus Christ and the fulfillment of his redemptive mission. One such prophecy is found in Numbers 21, 9, where God instructs Moses to lift up a bronze serpent on a pole to save the Israelites from a deadly plague of serpents. Little did they know that this ancient event held deeper spiritual significance, foreshadowing the ultimate fulfillment in the person of Jesus Christ. The fulfillment of this prophecy is revealed in the New Testament, particularly in John 3 verses 14 to 18 and John 12 verse 32, where Jesus himself draws a parallel between the serpent on a pole and his own sacrificial death on the cross. The connection between these passages illuminates the profound significance of Jesus Christ as the fulfillment of the ancient prophecy, offering himself as the Savior and mediator between God and humanity. Numbers 21 9 The Prophecy In the book of Numbers, the Israelites grumble against God and Moses in the wilderness, resulting in a plague of fiery serpents that bite the people, causing death. In their distress, they cry out for deliverance, and God instructs Moses to make a bronze serpent and set it on a pole. So Moses made a bronze serpent and set it on a pole. And if a serpent bit anyone, he would look at the bronze serpent and live. Numbers 21 colon 9 In this prophecy, the bronze serpent lifted up on a pole becomes a means of salvation and healing for the afflicted Israelites. This event holds symbolic and prophetic significance, foreshadowing the coming of Jesus Christ, who would be lifted up on the cross to provide salvation and eternal life to all who believe in him. John 3 verses 14 to 18 The Fulfillment In the New Testament book of John, the fulfillment of Numbers 21 colon 9 is unveiled during a conversation between Jesus and Nicodemus. In John 3 verses 14 to 18, Jesus draws a parallel between the serpent on a pole and his own sacrificial death on the cross. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. In this fulfillment, Jesus proclaims himself as the fulfillment of the bronze serpent lifted up in the wilderness. Just as looking at the bronze serpent brought physical healing to the Israelites, looking to Jesus Christ in faith brings spiritual healing and eternal life to all who believe in him. John 12 verse 32 The Affirmation In another instance in the New Testament book of John, Jesus reaffirms the significance of being lifted up on the cross. In John 12 verse 32, Jesus says, And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. In this affirmation, Jesus refers to his impending crucifixion as the means of drawing all people to himself. His sacrificial death on the cross becomes the ultimate expression of God's love and the source of redemption and reconciliation between God and humanity. Teachings and Day-to-Day Applications The prophecy in Numbers 21, 9 and its fulfillment in John 3, verses 14-18 and John 12, verse 32 carry profound teachings and applications for believers. Jesus as the Savior and Healer The fulfillment reveals Jesus as the ultimate Savior and Healer, offering salvation and eternal life to all who look to Him in faith. The Necessity of Faith The fulfillment emphasizes the importance of faith in Jesus Christ as the condition for receiving God's gift of eternal life. The Love of God The fulfillment underscores God's love for the world, demonstrated through the sacrificial offering of His only Son for the redemption of humanity. The universality of salvation. The fulfillment affirms that the offer of salvation through Jesus Christ is extended to all people, regardless of their background or past. The role of the cross. The fulfillment highlights the centrality and significance of Jesus' sacrificial death on the cross, as it becomes the pivotal event in human history. In day-to-day life, the understanding of this prophecy and its fulfillment deepens believers' appreciation for Jesus Christ as the Savior who offers healing and eternal life. It inspires gratitude for his sacrificial love and motivates us to live in obedience and devotion to him. Moreover, it encourages us to share the message of salvation through Jesus Christ with others, inviting them to experience the transformative power of his grace and forgiveness. Conclusion The prophecy in Numbers 21, 9, involving the bronze serpent lifted up on a pole for the healing of the Israelites, finds its ultimate fulfillment in the New Testament 
as revealed in John 3 verses 14 to 18 and John 12 verse 32. This remarkable fulfillment points to Jesus Christ as the ultimate Savior and mediator between God and humanity. As we reflect on this prophecy and its fulfillment, we are reminded of the profound significance of Jesus as the fulfillment of God's redemptive plan. May we look to Jesus Christ in faith, finding salvation and eternal life through his sacrificial death on the cross. Furthermore, may we share the message of Jesus Christ, the one lifted up for the salvation of the world, with others, inviting them to experience the freedom and joy found in the healing and forgiveness he offers.